Hey everyone, welcome back. So guys, in this video, I would like to show how you can send RSS feeds of any website to WhatsApp in a message. Okay, so this WhatsApp can be yours only or of any other person. And this automation is going to work like whenever any new feed is added in the RSS section of any website, the same feed is going to be delivered on WhatsApp in a new message automatically. Okay. So you can use this automation to track the RSS section of any website and to keep uh, updating yourself about the RSS section of any website. All right. So uh, let me show you how to, this is going to work. So guys, this will be the flow of this automation. Here we are using RSS by Pavli feature of Pavli Connect application. And with the help of this, what is going to happen whenever a new RSS feed is going to be posted in any website, the same RSS feed is going to be delivered here on the WhatsApp account as a message automatically. All right. So here we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool to set up this automation. So guys, now let me show you how you can also do this. So guys, to set up this automation, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect application. And here guys, uh, to reach here, you can use this link pavli.com slash connect. And we have pasted this link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes by clicking on the sign up free button. All right. And you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So guys sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard and guys here you have to create a workflow of automation for that just click here on this create workflow button and here you can give a suitable or relevant name to this workflow so i am giving the name here as send rss feeds on whatsapp all right so after giving the name like this you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page, guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So guys, automation work on these two things only. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in this use case, the trigger would be a uh, posting of a new RSS feed on a website. And the action towards that trigger would be to send the same RSS feed as a message on WhatsApp. All right. So first of all, you need to set up the trigger and from this choose app field, you have to choose the trigger application. And so from this choose app field, search for RSS by Pavli. This is it. Okay. Select it. And here it will ask for the trigger event. So the trigger event would be a new item in feed. So it will trigger this workflow when a new item is added to the feed. Okay. Select this, then click on connect. All right. And here it is asking for the feed URL. So guys, here you have to uh, enter the URL of the RSS feed section of any website from which you want to fetch the RSS feeds. Okay, let me show you. I have opened uh, this website guys of NDTV and this is the RSS feed section of NDTV. Okay, so from here, I'm going to select any category like, like this sports category. Okay. So I have opened this sports RSS feed section of this website. All right. And these are the current RSS feeds. Okay. So here you can see from the top search bar, I'm going to copy this link. Okay. So just copy this link and paste it here in your workflow in this feed URL section. And that's how you can paste the feed URL of your, of the RSS of any website, right? Now, when you click on save and send test request here, the most recently posted RSS feed will be fetched here in this response section. Let me show you. I am clicking on save and send test request. And you can see in this response, we have received this title and the title is this Saha opens up on why he spoke up about journalist and quote bullying and all that. Okay. This is a title and this is the link of this feed. All right. This is the content you can see in the content section. Okay, so let's check in the NDT website if we have this type of, okay. So you can see the most uh, recently posted RSS feed is here. The topmost one, Saha opens up on why he spoke about generalist bullying. Okay. And this is the same feed we got fetched here like this. That's how it's going to work guys. Now what we want, we want to send this same feed to our own WhatsApp account or to of any other person. Okay. 
let's say that you are posting this field you are working in any magazine website and you are creating such feeds here and you want to update about this to your boss or to your manager you can use this same automation for that also or if you are tracking any website for research purposes or like uh, just for uh, keeping yourself updated about the RSS feeds you can use this all right so here in this action step guys I'm going to search for WhatsApp cloud API to send messages on WhatsApp so cloud API is a recently launched platform by Facebook for sending messages on WhatsApp automatically using the API of WhatsApp that is the application programming interface so with the help of this you can send transactional messages marketing messages and any uh, other kind of messages on WhatsApp directly and you can connect your business also with WhatsApp using the cloud API right so if you want to know how to set up the cloud API you have to uh, see the videos from the description where we have explained how you can set up your own cloud API right after that you can use this feature here so in the action event we are going to use send template message option then click on connect and from here if you're making the connection with cloud API for the very first time you have to select this add new connection option all right and this these three fields will open up and guys here you can see new connection name so you can give a name to this connection as well because these connections are going to be saved here in your account all right and here it is asking for the permanent access token of the cloud api setup so if you want to know about the permanent token and phone number id and the business account id you can just click here on this here word written in blue and you will reach the forum page of pavli connect forum.pavli.com and here you will find these two videos first on how to set up the cloud API inside Pabli Connect, how to generate the permanent token, and then you can read these instructions, these steps along with the screenshots attached on how to use the cloud API inside Pabli Connect in Trigger or in Actions, and you can learn many things about that, right? And for these three things, I can show you my cloud API setup. So guys, I am under Meta for Developers uh, uh, section and here you can see I have created this app my connect message app and from here I have set up this cloud API for myself so this is whatsapp option and here I'm going to click on getting started and this is the getting started page of cloud API and here you will find the temporary access token first so temporary tokens expires in 23 hours or 24 hours so you need to generate a permanent access token for your cloud API setup if you want to know how you can generate that you can check the videos from the description or from this forum page here we have the full video on generating how to generate the permanent token for whatsapp cloud api and after generating the permanent token you have to keep it safe because we are going to use the same token to make the connections uh, again and again here with pavli connect okay so after getting the gen uh, token generated you will find the phone number id here like this in this send and receive messages section this is the phone number id you can just copy it from here and paste it here like this similarly you will find the business account id you can copy it and paste it here like this all right and after, and if you got the token you can paste the token here and after filling these three things just click on save and you will be connected with your cloud api setup right and guys making the connection by this process is also a one time process once you made the connection by filling these three things you can use this same existing connection next time if you want to connect again because these connections are going to save here in your account all right as i have already connected with my cloud api setup previously in a different workflow so i can use that existing connection again here let me show you so for using the existing connections just select this existing connection option and after selecting existing connection you will find the list of connections previous connections here in the select connections field so when you click here you will find the list from here you can select any of your previous connection like I am using this one okay right and now I just have to click on save and you can see we are getting connected again with cloud API okay so we are connected and now it is asking for the templates name the message templates name so guys you need to create message templates first inside the cloud api setup and after that you can use those templates to send messages on whatsapp directly and automatically so guys let me show you you here you can read to create your own message template click here so when you click on this here word 
you will reach this page all right and here you can create message templates guys and the template i am using here is this one let me show you the name of which is i think rss all right these are all the approved templates i have these this is the uh, template i am using rss feed okay and you can see the preview of this message template right here only okay so this is how the message is going to look like here is the update details from z news on sports section the title is this the link of the uh, rss feed is this okay and here you can see in this message template here it is written z news and this is the link already pasted here this is the preview guys so here you can see in the preview of this message here it is written uh, this update is from z news on sports section all right and this is the title and this is the link but these are the things that are going to change with every new message we can uh, send uh, this message for any website not only for z news it is it can be of any other page and it can be from any other section also the title is also can be different and the link will also be different so to get these things changed automatically you need to place the body fields or the variables inside your message template you can see here in the message body here it is written here is the update details from and here we have this one in double curly braces and then two and then three and then four okay so these are the variable tags or the body fields inside my message template so with the help of these we can use these message templates to send messages to multiple people at once on whatsapp all right so you need to create such a standard message template here so to create a template let me show you from here from this page only just click on this create message template button and here you will find the categories in which you can create the templates like the transactional category the marketing and the otps so from here you can select any one uh, let's say i'm selecting marketing and here you can give a name to this template so let me give any name here and here you can select the language in which you are sending this message like this all right and from here just click on continue and then you will reach this page and guys here you can add a header inside this template in that header you can enter a text or you can attach media and in that media you can add an image a video or a document here in the body box you can type the main body of the message like this okay and if you want to place body fields here just click on this add variable button and this is how a tag will be added inside the message and in the footer section you can enter any short line or text at the bottom of your message and in this button section you can uh, add a quick reply button or a call to action button right and after creating the template you just have to click on submit and submit this template and after that like uh, right now i'm discarding this facebook is going to review that template and approve it and it will just take a few minutes and after getting your template approved you can use it to send messages on whatsapp so guys you have to select this template that you are using here inside your workflow from this template name field so just click here and it will show you the list of all the approved templates you have in your cloud api setup from here search for your your template that you're using for this specific purpose so my template is this rss feed okay and you can see now the language code and the template id is automatically populated here no need to do anything here in the recipient mobile number you have to enter the whatsapp number of the person to whom you want to send this rss feed and uh, you have to enter this number in this format you can see with the country code 91 is for india you have to enter yours and without any plus sign right so let me uh, enter my number here all right and here it is asking for the body field one two three and four so guys I, I have already shown you that i have four body fields or the variable text inside my message template all right you can see here one two three and four so to change the uh, change these values of these uh, body fields like this in the preview you can see in the first body field i want the name of the page or the website and in the second body field i want the section of the rss feed so to get these things change automatically and dynamically with every new message 
you have to map the values of these body fields here inside this workflow okay so to map the data i am going to use this first step where we have received the data from the rss section of any website and i am just going to map the data here all right so uh, we are taking this uh, uh, rss feed from ndtv so let me check here if we got the data related to the uh, website page or not so it is not showing the name of the website so here i am going to manually fill ndtv sports all right this is the first body field now the thing i am entering here manually this is not going to change because this is i have entered manually this this is going to remain static with every new message all right so for this specific automation this is okay because we are we just want to track this website only so this is okay uh, you can fill it manually also here it is asking for the section so you can i think map the section here you can see we have categories here in the this is how you can map the data you just have to click here and it will show you this previous step in the drop down and from here only you can see all the data that you have received in the first step like this and from here you can see we have received this category section guys the category label so i can use this label all right to map the label here in this second body field all right so the second body field is saying here update details from ndtv sports on cricket section all right this is how it is going to be and in the third body field it is asking for the title so you will find the title from this first step this is the title guys right and in the fourth body field i am going to map the link of the rss feed so here is the link just map it like this right so we are done mapping the data and filling the details now by clicking on save and send test request you can send a test message to this whatsapp number and actually i have the access to this whatsapp number so i can show you how the message is going to look like so i am clicking on save and send test request here and this is the data we have this is the response we have received here now let me show you the message so guys this is the message we have received you can see and the message is this here is update details from ndtv sports on cricket section you can see in place of the body fields these things are placed accordingly that the data we have mapped here okay ndtv sports and cricket is placed here and the, the title is this saha opens up and the link is this and when you click on this link it will bring you to this rss feed that we have mapped in our workflow okay so this is the same rss feed that we got here right and the same rss feed is uh, delivered here on whatsapp through this link so, so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that as and when any new rss feed is going to be captured under this uh, section under this sports feed, feed section of uh, ndtv the same feed is going to be delivered on whatsapp automatically to the number that you have mapped here or entered here right and the good part is you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel